England clock in for their very first appearance at these championships. A special anniversary edition, in fact, games held across multiple nations, a true pan-European tournament that is a reflection of the pan-European nature of the game. And this is where it all starts for them. 11 players, many of them friends, some foes during the league season, now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event. Ahead of us, a month of non-stop adrenaline rush. I trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be at least for partisan parties the most unbearable, thrilling of emotional roller coasters. Wonderful scenes here in the Dutch capital inside this terrific arena. One that does more than justice to the stature of the man whose name it bears. Well, they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. That gets things running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Jordan Pickford. He's a great all-round goalkeeper, Peter. Uh, great at shot-stopping and dominant in his box. He also gets counter-attacks going with his accurate long passes. The opposition should be a little wary of committing too many men forward to attack because if it does break down, this guy can get them in trouble pretty quickly. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about... How they get the best out of him. Rashford. It's a loose ball. Oh, real danger here. Kane has a hit. Forward it goes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Up to meet it. And it's played forward. Well, he's managed to get that all wrong. And it's Chilwell. Striding forward, facing goal. Cut out in the nick of time. And here's Kane. Kane! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Perisic. Perisic going full tilt down the left. Jordan Henderson. You have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Ali, this is promising. Stern, real chance! That has certainly tested the keeper. Sterling really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. 
Alexander Arnold. And here's Deli Ali. And here's Kane. And the shot! Oh, denied brilliantly! Kane simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Keeper has beaten it away. Alexander Arnold. It's a brilliant interception. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. And Sterling! And the ball's come out. He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Exciting and entertaining game from here on. Rebic! Rebic! Chilwell goes looking. And it's half time here. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Any strong opinions on the first half? England deserve to be ahead and probably should be in front by more considering the amount of chances they've managed. Everything points to more of the same second half and a good solid win. England head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Well, the action has already resumed here. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to... He's had a shot! Rebic... Tries a shot! It's there! They have done it! They have their equaliser! Beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing. Right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Deli Ali with the foul.
Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Oh, that's a waste. He's looked long this time. Stones plays it forward. Sterling. Kane. It's Kane! Oh, that's a fine save! Kane is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Kalinic deals with it effortlessly. And it's Sterling. Sterling. Sterling! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in then, and I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Rashford looks to get on the end of this. Vida gets it back. Madison. Madison hits that long. Sterling, and Sterling! Same again, same outcome. England really putting a few chances together here. Taking one can only add to such good momentum now. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Strong punch. Has a pop! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. Sterling. He's got it on the right now. What's on? Oh, that is lovely footwork. Well, oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, I think the referee would have told them to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. England making consecutive changes here. Rashford is being withdrawn here, but he's certainly made his mark. Well, has he done enough since his goal? Is the feeling that he's lost his appetite for another? It's difficult to be sure exactly what the thinking is, but his race is certainly run now. And it's Sterling. Shapes to shoot. And that's a real chance missed. You get the feeling that whoever scores the next goal here will be the winners of this time. They can't afford to waste chances like that, though. Croatia making another change here. I think this is going to add an entirely different dimension to their attack now. They've got the physical presence, they've got a real aerial threat, and uh, it looks more promising from here. Find the finish.
There's going to be another change here. Oxlade Chamberlain. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of... And the shot! Oh, should have put that away. Kovacic. He's had a look. Chance! Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. Rice tries to get it forward quickly. Sterling! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Sterling sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick money was that? Well, oh, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect on an introduction. England, what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. Has a goal! Hit. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Hit into the middle. It's Kramaric! Not this time. England can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Lovren. And that will be the final act. England starts as they wanted to start. All three points, the first three points, crucial. Your reflections then, Jim. Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board, and it's mission accomplished. Nothing too fancy was required, just a, a good, solid team display for me.